Hello, students. In this uh, video, we'll go with uh, a variety of problems in isometric problems, isometric projection, where uh, they will provide uh, orthographic projection by reading the front and uh, side view. We need to develop the isometric projection of the solid. Now, here we have taken uh, three problems where you can just uh, look into the way in which they have provided the front and uh, side view. One or the they are similar in one or the other way. So, if you see the first one here. Where if you look into the projections here, so you can see this is the uh, front view of that one where we have the height of this is 30 and uh, the width of this one will be 60. And in the side view, again, this width here in the front view it is 30 and in the side view also it is 30. That means like it's a square. So we can say there is a square prism, okay. So the height is 60 and the width is 30. And the same, if you observe the dimensions here, this dimension and this dimension will remain same, and this and this will remain same. That means like we have a square prism, which is there are two square prisms which are placed in a, a T symbol, okay. So to proceed with, with this one, so what we can do it here, so first we need to have this one, okay. So where we can see the uh, there is a square prism which is a 30 mm side and I to the 60 mm. So in order to start with that one, so let's say like uh, we'll just do one by one. So we'll take a line as usual in the isometric projection. We'll take a line with a point three, and then we'll start with the one point. So where we are going to have a square of thirty. So thirty enter thirty enter thirty enter one fifty enter then thirty enter minus one fifty enter and thirty enter minus thirty enter. Okay. So we got uh, the base of this one here. Okay, now the height will be of 60. So we'll take it from only one corner and we'll enter 60 and 90. And the same square will move to the top. We'll copy on from any one of the corners to the tip. Okay, then we'll move this line to the each of the corners. So this is how exactly we do this uh, square prism. And now the same square prism, if you observe here 60, 60 and 30 and 30. So the same square prism is kept exactly at the mid of this space. Okay. So what we'll do here is we'll select this one, we'll go to a command called mirror. Let's copy on and if you come down here, okay, so you can see there is a square which is copy or mirror. Okay, in a 90 degree view. So you can just select the bottom view. Now, without uh, much delay, you can go to the move command, copy off. So we'll move this one from the mid of this line. Okay, and it should be moved to the mid of this bottom line. Okay, so now you can see the square prism which is uh, placed in this way. Now, go to the move command, copy off, and move from this tip. This is how exactly we can do the model. It's a very simple, okay. Only the thing is you need to just correlate the things, okay. The height is 60 and this is 30, and here again this is 30 and this is 60. So now once this one is done, we can go back to the angle between this line and this line is 30, this line and this line is 30, and we can go to the trim option in all these parts and collect everything 
pick up this one and pick that. Point five. And connect to the stage. Point eight one. So this is how exactly we are going to do the problem number uh, 27 from the prime. Okay. And uh, if you look to the same one, similar, the one which we have at the bottom here. Okay. So if you see this and this, okay. So if there is only one change that is this part. Okay. That's a T part. That is now it's a cylindrical. Here we had a, a square one, but now here it's a cylindrical one. So as already we know, okay. So in order to draw the uh, circular object or a cylindrical, okay, uh, we need to have a square, okay. So what we'll do now here is uh, so just to showcase the same, okay. You can do the same square in the same fashion as you have done here. So let me just uh, unscale this one. So we'll go to the uh, scale factor and we'll do reverse. 1 divided by 0 0.8164. Okay. See here now. Okay, so now it is. So now for us these things are not that much important because those are imaginary lines for us what we'll do we'll make it thin okay so anyhow in order to construct the circle we need a square okay so, now, find the this one. so let's say like already we have have the uh, circle uh, sorry square here we'll go to a tangent r okay we'll come to the midpoint 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 okay so this is the right now for us this circular object is important so what we do we will make it point five okay so you can Copy this frame, okay, because again we have the same circular object. Copy on, okay, we can move it from the any one of the corner. We we'll select from here and then we'll copy. Okay, so this is how exactly we can do, but there is no connection between the parts. So, what we can do, we can go to the line. A thin thick line okay come to the mid of this and connect to the mid of this one and mid of this one okay now go to the trim command so all these things are not visible okay, just trim of this thing These lines are not required for us. So now we can just zoom here in this part and we can zoom here and read this line on five. Okay, so that's how exactly we can do. You can see here now just go back to the angle. scale factor copy of 0.81 the way the same way in which we have done this problem okay the same way and just convert that one okay the projected portion okay from square to a linear okay so that's all exactly you can if you see here again 60 and 60 then this is 30 diameter and this is 30 okay the only thing is 
here is needed is you need to just look into the the side and the front of exactly the 